just that was I think that was the one breaking point for me where I just kind of lost it because I just didn't want just hearing that your baby is failing to thrive because of what you're doing or something you're doing wrong just sounded terrible. <laughs> welcome back to another video if you guys see that I look the same yes I do I decided to make another video because it's good quiet time in my house right now and finding the time to always make the videos that I've already planned out for you guys it's not always easy so with that said I'm gonna jump right in and I I am answering another question pertaining to nursing and some of these questions I find them different because I can't really answer them on um, in depth but if you want to see certain videos like that I would say subscribe to my mommy channel because I more you know this is a family channel and I don't want I don't know it's even though it's natural things that I'm speaking about it just feels kind of odd just talking about like you know certain things I guess but over there I feel more candid I feel like we can just have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation because you know it's like mom to mom but someone has asked how the nursing has been going since I have had baby because you guys know that I had a breast reduction and I had it shortly. I had it about, uh, I would say six years ago. And so at that point, I obviously did not see myself having another child because uh, it wasn't on my heart at that time. The fact that having another child was pressed on my heart was going to overpower the thought of, oh my gosh, what if I couldn't nurse? Because I did nurse with my first and I really did have, you know, I enjoyed that connection that a mom can have with their child. And um, it is just, I don't know, it's just a really special bond that is so awesome between mommy and baby and to be able to feed and nourish your child like nature does like all the all the other mammals out there that are able to nurse their young and just be protective of them and it's just such a it's just an awesome experience for us moms to be able to do that now i like i said because of my reduction i i wasn't sure because a lot of the reviews and things that i had read indicated that the possibilities are sorry I got interrupted by hubby he called in the middle of me talking but I was saying that everywhere that I read indicated that one had like a 50 50 chance of being able to nurse given that doctors where, where they perform the surgery it usually affects like the milk ducts and whatnot so yeah it was discouraging to hear that but at the same time honestly this journey has been such a blessing in every way shape or form for me that even in those moments when I had a, you know, just doubts, I just just remain like uh, faithful because God's been so faithful to me. I tried to just be positive in my thinking on a whole. I didn't. This pregnancy was um, it was really neat for me because it was so different than the first, and I guess that's another thing that I can touch base on. It was just a little different because I didn't focus so I didn't focus on any of the negativity. I didn't want to give it my attention. I didn't want to give it my time. I try to remain positive on a whole. I try to just be, yeah, just be positive about things. I didn't worry about my weight this pregnancy. I didn't worry about whether or not I could nurse. I was prepared and thinking like if I couldn't, there's always the bottle. Like a baby is a blessing. Why, you know, I'm not going to, it's not going to be the end of the world if I couldn't. And I didn't worry about it. But with the scare that happened when I brought baby home from the hospital, that was the one thing that really made me just kind of, I don't know, kind of sad because I remember crying when I coming home from the lactation consultant because I didn't find her to be that helpful and the you know and she didn't help me in the way that I needed help and she was actually like discouraging because the baby ha wasn't gaining any weight she immediately used the term failure to thrive and she wasn't losing any weight and she was already eight pounds like she was a good size for a baby so those kind of things just that was I think that was the one breaking point for me where I just kind of lost it because I just didn't want just hearing that your baby is failing to thrive because of you, what you're doing or something you're doing wrong just sounded terrible. Right now, I think it's going well. We are nursing well. She's eating. She's gaining weight. She's almost, I think last time we went to the doctor, she was 11 pounds, two ounces, as you guys saw at our two month checkup. And now I weighed myself with her on the scale. I was saying that she's almost, she's like 13 ounce, 13 pounds eight ounces which I know is not correct but if anything she's like 13 pounds which is crazy so 
I know she's getting food. I know uh, this nursing thing is working out. And for those of you who are concerned, because I got a lot of messages from those of you who are concerned, it's from that other video that I did, my biggest regret ever. This was originally published on my beauty channel slash mommy channel, but I have embedded embedded that video onto this channel for those of you who are watching. It's just on the main channel page. You go down to the bottom and you will see, uh, I think either it's on the, t the heading like tubal reversal or um, or it's just stuff from my beauty channel, popular videos. It is somewhere there on the front page. So definitely check it out. But from that video, a lot of you have asked a ton of questions pertaining to um, my journey, whether it be nursing or my tubal reversal. And um, yeah, for those of you who are concerned and you're not quite sure if it's all going to work out, all I have to say is just be hopeful, be positive, and do whatever you can to help yourself. If you've had any kind of surgery, maybe ask, call an asthma surgeon and see you know, what happened and how they did it. Because like I said, in my case, they did not... Um, everything was intact when they were still performing the surgery. They didn't completely separate anything, which is a good thing. And so it's, you know, if, if you had the surgery, definitely check that inquire and know what's up. Um, also don't spend time worrying about something you cannot change. Uh, if, you know, if, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If one baby's born and you can feed her and she can nurse well and latch on, so be it. And then it's, that's awesome. And if she can't, I mean, it's easier said than done because like I said, I understand the concept of nursing and I understand just the bond. But at the end of the day, like if it were a choice that I had to make and I couldn't do it, so be it. You know, they both like, as much as I love nursing, there are other there are pros that are involved in being able to bottle feed too. It's not all just one way. You know, with bottle feed, you have that convenience at the same time. But I'm not here promoting that because I know overall the nutritional value as well from nursing is is far outweighs. So that's the dog drinking in the background. Far outweighs um you know any kind of formula that you could give to your baby. So poor timing, Benji. Poor timing. Okay, so he continues to drink but yeah so I hope you guys find this video helpful stay positive um, just you know do your best to take care of you and for those of you who are saying you're considering this surgery I would recommend like just wait if you are um, planning on having kids because there's no point in stressing yourself out don't have a surgery before and then plan to have kids after I don't I've seen people personally do this and make this choice and I don't think it makes any sense I made that choice but I didn't intend on having any more kids when I made that choice so it's just a different scenario so uh, yeah I hope you find this video helpful at all just sharing my experience with each of you one day at a time and hope that our community that we build can just help one another thank you guys for sharing your stories too they been so uplifting and it just helped me realize that I wasn't alone because honestly in my circle I'm the only one that I know that have done plenty of like you know that have encountered or have dealt with some of the things that I have dealt with and it's not until sh opening up and sharing my video with you, you guys and reading your comments that I've actually felt like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. So thank you all so much and um, share this video if you find it helpful. And also it can uh, be useful and helpful for those who actually need it. So thank you guys for watching and much love, much love. Hi guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>